Jesus is a cow. Jesus is more than one. <laughs> I was chased by cows here in the UK. <laughs> and he died. He died. Welcome back to the Francescan Disorder and if you've just bumped into me for the first time today please consider being a friend by subscribing. I'm also going to say welcome to Vlog Killer because this video is, you know, it's filmed for, it's being filmed for Vlogtober. So today's video is a story time video. Well, it's not going to be one story so this is, you know, double, double, double. No, it's not even double. It's like 10 stories in one. I don't think it's up to 10. Anyway, I'm going to tell you like different episodes of when um, I've been chased by animals. So I like to say I've been chased by animals because that's, that reduces the embarrassment in it. But a lot of the time, the animals have just been minding their business and <laughs> doing what they need to be doing as animals. And I've just been the stupid idiot running away. <laughs> but yeah, um, I've been chased by animals. So I'm not telling you one story. I'm not telling you two. I'm not telling you three. It might be four or five, I don't know. Because I'm telling you a lot of stories, can you start rolling in with the likes? Just give me, give me the likes before you even start watching, okay? Okay. <laughs> and do I look nice in my husband's shirt? <laughs> yes, I'm wearing my favorite. My husband's shirt. Not my favorite. So, you know, I, I want to say excuse that, but hey ho, I don't have any clothes. So I'm going to wear my husband's clothes. Anyway, let's start this story time. So, in my life, being chased by animals, the first or the earliest memories I have about being chased by animals are when I was like very little. So, first, <laughs> the first, first, first memory that I have is um, chicken. So, when I was little, I used to, I used to enjoy running around. If I saw chickens anywhere. Maybe we went to the village or a compound where there was chickens. And we used to buy like um, live chickens as well. So if I saw chickens anywhere, I used to chase them. I used to run around them. I don't know why I used to run around them. I never caught them. But it was just fun running around them or running after them, not around them. And then <laughs> one of these days, because I was very little, if I remember clearly, I may have been like five at the time or four. But, you know, I didn't know that you, you don't chase a chicken or a hen with chicks. <laughs> so, one day, I was just, I saw a hen with its, its chick. You know how hen, hens, you know how hens have chicks, like a lot, like at least six chicks following the hen about. And the hen was doing, <laughs> the hen was making the hen sound, the mother hen sound, like, quack, quack, and then the, the chicks were doing things like I'm following their mother about and of course Francesca chased so I chased the hen and her chicks and they would run 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 <laughs> until I chased them into a corner so I chased them into a corridor where they ran to the end of the corridor it was just me them and it's very narrow passage like this so <laughs> in my mind in my little mind then I thought oh I've won I'm the winner of this fight <laughs> Little did I know. So because the hen was like backed to the end with her chickens or with her chicks and nothing else to do, she, the next thing she did, she just flew with a very loud noise. She flew like <laughs> on my head. <laughs> so she flew and landed on my head. And then I, because like, I don't know what happened. I just remember the hand flying and landing on my head and then I ducked like that. I was I bent my head. I was so scared. And that's the first time I remember anything about oh my god. I shouldn't have put on makeup to tell these stories. I'm crying and having teary eyes. <laughs> so that's the first time I have any remembrance of um goosebumps or like that's my first memory of experiencing goosebumps because i feel like i remember i had goosebumps all over me I, I was, like even the hen had run away with all her chicks i was bent there crying and then until i saw that she was like far 
as I said, we were in the passage, so when she she had left with all her chicks was only when I came out. <laughs> and then my mom saw me crying and was like, Why are you crying? So I told her <laughs> that the chicken flew on top of my head. <laughs> but needless to say that I learned my lesson. I don't I never chased like not even just hens. I just never ever chased chickens anymore since then. And the next memory that I have, I've said this in a video before that my um my first fear is the fear of rats, the fear of big rats. And this is because of a Nigerian movie that depicted rats as witches. Nigerian movie depicts everything as witches. So if that is if that's if if that's what I look at, you know, I'm going to be scared of everything. But then I was so little when I saw this movie that it was called Witches and like the witches used to turn into rats, big rats. So I used to be very, very, very scared of big rats. And I I don't remember being chased. Oh I was going to say I don't remember being chased by a rat, but there's an actual story of a rat with me of a rat with me in it or me with a rat in it. I don't know. So this was when I was in boarding school. I'm jumping ahead a bit, but that's just because like it's the next um, thing that I was afraid of. So when I was in boarding school, <laughs> rising time in boarding school was 5 a.m. No, 5.30 a.m. No. Oh, it was 5.30. Rising time was 5.30. And, um, and then we had to go for morning prayers at like 6 o'clock. I think rising time was 5 o'clock and morning prayers was half 5, yeah. Rising time was 5 o'clock, morning prayers was half 5. Please, if you went to my boarding school and you're watching, I know you're watching. Girls, I know you're watching, so if you if you remember, let me know what rising time was. So, anyway, because of this, you know, ungodly hour that we, need, we needed to wake up, I used to, not just me, everybody in the school used to like um have their because we used to have we all had buckets that we stored water in so so if you know like you're going to of course you know you're going to have a wash in the morning you prepare your water the night before in your um wash bucket or your bath bucket how we call it so prepare your water the night before i'm sorry i'm looking at my husband i wonder what he's doing there he's cooking and i don't trust him with what he's cooking has never cooked. Sorry, let's deregulate. My husband has never cooked burger with before, and I've told him to cook it today, and I'm not able to trust him <laughs> with it. But yeah, okay. So we used to like prepare our waters before, like the night before, so that once you heard the bell, and mostly people you people didn't even used to wait for the bell. People just used to like get up because. If you waited for the bell, then you'll still be late. Like there were, a, there, there was a long queue with waiting for the bathroom before it was your turn. So what, what had happened was, of course, I prepared my water the night before to go to the bathroom, and also we used to like, we had lanterns, although they used to turn on the gem sometimes. Like we used to use a generator light sometimes. Some nights they just didn't used to. In fact, Nigeria electricity problem in nigeria anyway so we had we we were supposed to have lanterns but you know how boarding school is like people your things just get missing or you don't know where we were all kids at the time i mean i started boarding school at the age of nine so i, I can't i don't i don't think i had a lantern at the time i don't remember having a lantern but what used to happen was one person's lantern would like if one person or a few people maybe two or three people that still had their lanterns will provide light for a whole room of about more than 10 girls 10 15 to 20 girls so it was a very like large dormitory so anyway <laughs> on this day we had um obviously prepared our bath water the night before and then in the morning, I just pulled it. That's what we just normally do. We pull it out of under the bed and then we rush to the bathroom. And as I said, one person's lamp is providing light for a bunch of people. Now, our bathrooms were like 
so bathrooms on this side bathrooms on this side and then a passage so there were like at least i can't remember 11 bathrooms on this side 11 11 and then a passage so and in between the bathroom stalls the walls were like low so people used to put their lamps on it so if someone put their lamp on one it would shine far enough to like other bathrooms that if people don't have their lamp i don't know if you get what i mean but <laughs> i don't know i don't know if my analysis if my explanation paints a vivid picture <laughs> but yeah so people used to that's how we used to shower anyway so on this morning i drew my water out of under the bed and rushed to the bathroom <laughs> and i didn't look into it for whatever reason of course i didn't have enough light so i didn't but if i was rushing i don't see how i would have looked into it so i rushed to the bathroom and i got into the bathroom <laughs> and then i put my hand inside my water i just i don't know why i put i don't know i just don't know but i just put my hand inside my water and i felt something move i screamed i ran out of the bathroom naked and a lot of girls ran away as well because like everybody was like what is it what is it <laughs> so some people that were brave enough went in there with their lamps <laughs> to come see what it was and lo and behold there was like a mouse in my water <laughs> there was a mouse in my water it was just like it was was it still alive i think it was a bit it had a bit of life in it, it was almost drowning so i'm not sure how long it was in my water for but there was a mouse there <laughs> mouse a rat in my water so yeah that's the second time so i ran out of the bathroom naked because of a rat or oh, that's another time i've been chased by animals another time i've been chased by animals was when i was very little i used to be scared of dogs when we didn't have like our own family dogs so when i was very little if i saw dogs anywhere best believe i'm running so one time we me my cousins so i went to my grandmother's for a holiday and my cousins were there and my my grandmother's house at the time did not have our own tap so we we used to have to go into the next compound to fetch water so one time me my cousins all of us we just went and they had two dogs two dogs in the compound me my cousins we all went into that compound to fetch water and the dogs were just doing what they do like you know how dogs just run around i saw them i started running or screaming ah! Ah! <laughs> and the kids in this compound were laughing at me oh by the way the kids in the compound were my cousin the next compound where it's my cousins how do i put it so it's my uncle's compound but it's not the same this uncle is not oh this uncle does not share the same mother with my mom but he shares the same father with my mom so it was my, my am i confusing you yet <laughs> it's my sorry my mom's half brother's compound so the co the children in that compound were my cousins as well just like they are my half cousins because we're all the same grandfather just not the same grandmother my grandfather was a polygamist so yeah and they were all laughing because they knew that the dogs were not doing anything to me. They were not going to do anything to me. I was just running like a stupid cow, shouting. We were coming to cows, speaking of cows. So yeah, that's one time that the dogs chased me. And another time, we it was also going to fetch water. I used to go with like... <laughs> they used to give me like, you know, bottled water. They used to give me empty bottles of water. And put like about two or three empty bottles in a bucket just for, so that I followed the older children to go and you know fetch water I, I didn't need to go so they'll put like two or three bottle empty bottles in a big bowl or a bucket so that you know I have something to carry and being chased by a dog happened twice so first was in my uncle's compound another one was in another auntie's compound as well and on this day, the second time, my older cousins and my older sisters had, they were still fetching their water. So me, I finished mine and, you know, as a, I don't know, as a child that knows too much, I left them and I was going in front. <laughs> I 
and then I saw a dog coming from nowhere. And you know the dogs that have okay, the dog in my uncle's house was was like you know. But the the other this other dog that I'm going to talk about now, it's like what do you call it? A cookie dog. <laughs> a cookie is what we call um um. You know like um local dogs in nigeria so you know if the dogs are not foreign the local the other dogs we have in nigeria are imported but our local nigerian dogs we call them ekuke so i saw this ekuke dog running from wherever coming i threw away all my bottles <laughs> and i was running and shouting i remember i was screaming screaming my cousin's name my cousin's name is Ine, so i was screaming her name Ine! Ine! <laughs> and i was running shouting so yeah that's another time i was chased by dogs and another time i was chased by dogs again is one day i was coming back home with my dad from morning mass and my dad used to jog when he went to morning mass and sometimes i used to follow him to morning mass so on this day we were coming back he was jogging no he wasn't jogging he used to jog to morning mass and then we'll walk back so on this day we were coming back from morning mass and we were walking and then because <laughs> i had to go to school on the day so i think i can't remember why i went to money mass it's either i had um a i had to do the you know i'm catholic and we do first and second reading and i started reading in church when i was like seven still in primary school so some days my dad used to take me to church to go and do to go and read like first reading in church so I think it was one of the days that I had to do first reading or something like that in church. And I was coming back from church with him. And <laughs> a dog was just just walking out of one street on its own. Oh, guess what? I took off. I took off again. I was running, running. And because I was running, the thing with dogs is when you run, they think you're playing with them, you know. So I was running and my dad and was saying, don't run. Me, listen to that. Don't run. What do you mean don't run? I ran away, so I was running, running, and my the dog was like chasing me. So my dad, not my dad, now had to. So my dad had to like run after the dog and me. So my dad was running, coming like from behind after the dog and me. I was running, dog was chasing me, and until my dad caught onto the dog and kicked the dog, and I heard the dog shout like wings in pain. You know how dogs shout like, ah! and run away. So yeah, my dad kicked the dog dog went away and then my dad said I told you not to run I shouldn't run when I see dog tell me that when I was little so another time I've been chased by animals again in boarding school in my boarding school my boarding school was owned was owned and run by reverend sisters so they had dogs in their compound a cookie dogs a lot of a cookie dogs and I can't tell you this I don't have a particular story for this Although I feel like I remember one time I was a particular target, but I don't have a particular story. I just know that the dogs used to chase us every now and again in, in, when we were in school. So there's no you know particular story that comes to mind. And then, moving on. <laughs> moving on to my adult life. Somebody sitting next to me here remembers this one. I was chased by cows here in the UK. He's laughing and shaking his head because as I said earlier, the cows, the animals don't chase me. The animals just do what they need to do as animals and I'm there running like a stupid cow. So, oh, before being chased by cows, I'm very, very scared of cats. So anywhere I see cats, I'm running away. And if, if I see a cat across the road, I'm going to cross to the other side of the road. So when I lived in London... Every time I was passing or going to the bus stop or leaving my house, there's a particular cat that used to sit on the fence. The, the cat will be sat there and you won't see it because, you know, you're not looking up. So it used to sit there and then I'll look up and see the way I'll take off and just cross to the next one, like to the other side of the road very, very quickly. But yeah, and my husband has been walking with me many times and I've seen cats and I'm shouting, Jesus, see cats! And I'll run around, he's laughing. Well, on this day, this man took me to the new forest. Well, I say he took me. We went to the new forest and we went to walk, like, 
you know, what do you do in the new forest? You go for long, nice walks on a sunny day. So, we also even had picnic at the new forest. We found a spot and, you know, spread our picnic mats, sat down, ate, had a nice time, everything. Oh, just so you know, in the new forest, yeah, there's always, um, you will see horses in the new forest and cows. And you might see wild um, wild pigs as well. So, like, they, they just let them roam free in the new forest. Nobody, you might see donkeys as well. Like, nobody locks up anything. They let them roam free. You might see deer. The, the new forest, like, all the animals in the new forest roam free. So, we saw this, um, we saw horses, which I like. I like horses now. So, we saw horses. <laughs> And I'm like, oh, we're having a good day. We, we passed by horses. I even went very close to some horses. We put our picnic mat down. We sat down. We ate. And then we stayed there for a while, just when we were about to leave. So where we stayed, where we had our picnic, was like a little valley, like just down the top of a little, down the top of a little hill. So we we're just down there. And just when we were about to leave, we we're finished packing. Even I had like stood up and I was like looking around, just taking in my scenery, yeah. And my husband was folding up the mat. And then the next thing he said is, You want to come and tell this part of the story? <laughs> no, you're going to tell this part of the story because you 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 have your idea of how you think I shouted. I'm going to talk on to that part and then I'll let him tell us about the story. So, my husband was folding up the, the mat. First of all, in the new forest, I'm like very scared of, um, of animals in the new forest, especially wild pigs. I've been, every time we've, we've gone to the new forest, I've been saying, I hope we don't see wild pigs. Because wild pigs have been known to attack people in the new forest. So I've been always hoping every time we go to the new forest that we don't see wild pigs and I've never encountered wild pigs in the new forest. So good thing. But on this day, <laughs> he was folding up his, um, folding up our picnic mat and I was backing the entrance from the hill that we came down. And then he looked, I don't know, he, he looked up and I just heard him say, oh look, there's a cow. And then I looked and I saw this cow coming towards us. So, and then I looked again, and I saw, like, it's not just one cow, like, it was like a herd of cows. <laughs> and what did I say? Come here, come and see what I said. Jesus, it's a cow. Jesus, in the name of God. <laughs> so I shouted. I told her, I was just surprised. So I saw, no, he said, Oh, you didn't say it's a cow. You said, oh, look, there's a horse. Because you, you, you weren't seeing it properly, were you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he said, oh, look, there's a horse. So I looked and I saw it was not a horse. So, <laughs> because I knew horses are very calm animals. Like, I knew that a horse was not going to do anything to me. But I, I worry about cows. Like, they get crazy and they start running and chasing people around. I mean, I've seen videos all over the place. So, I looked and it was not a horse. It was a cow. So I shouted, Jesus, it's a cow. <laughs> And then, you know, when I looked again and I saw that it was a herd of cows, I said, Jesus, it's more than one. And I took off. <laughs> My husband said, I run the fastest he's ever seen me run since he met me. <laughs> I wasn't even looking back. I was running very fast. In my mind, the cows were after me. I was running, running. Like, do you know how far I run, we run, or we, I, I ran so far to the point where even coming back, I was like surprised, like, uh -uh, did I pass, did I run past all this place? Like, we had to walk a very long way back to where, that's how far I ran. I ran and ran and ran and ran, I just kept running. <laughs> I don't know what told me to just, to stop. So I stopped, I, th I think when my brain told me that I was like very far away from danger or, I don't know, I just stopped. And then I looked back. My husband was not coming. I was scared. Like, I looked back. I wasn't seeing my husband. 
Because in my mind, when I'm running, he's like running behind. Because we're in danger. Something is chasing us. A cow or cows, a head of cows are chasing us. So in my mind, I, he was running behind me. I just didn't look back. <laughs> so I was really scared. I was really, really scared to think of what the cows must have done to him. So, but then, even as I was scared, I didn't come back. I was standing there looking. <laughs> I didn't come back to look for him. I was scared and very worried about him. I didn't come back to look for him. I was standing there just looking out for him, looking and also looking out for if the cows were still coming, like if they finished with him and they were coming for me. <laughs> so, yeah, I stood there for a while and then I saw him appear. Like, I saw his crib coming. But he wasn't running, he was just walking very calmly. I was so angry. I was so mad at him. Like, why are you not running? And he's like, you, why are you running? <laughs> so I said, the cows were chasing us. He said, no, they were not chasing us. They were just minding their business. <laughs> so I said, so how are we going back? Are the cows still there? He's like, yeah, they're there. And that was the only way out. So I, like, I tried to walk inside the bushes. But there was no other way. We had to go through where the cows were. <laughs> we came back out. I hid inside the bushes and ran till I got to the road again. <laughs> the most interesting part of this story is Do you remember I gave you a stick? <laughs> when we were coming back, I picked up a stick, a very long stick, and I gave it to him. Just in case the cows attack. <laughs> Why did I do this story time today? My eyes are very teary. I picked up a long stick and I gave it to him in case the cows attack. So he held the stick like that. <laughs> and I held a shorter stick. And we looked like nomads. <laughs> Just walking out of the bush. <laughs> oh my goodness. So yeah, that's how we got chased by cows, or I got chased by cows in the new forest. And um, I think I have a final one. This video is going to be long, but you know, why not? The final one is monkeys in Gibraltar when we just last traveled. And whilst I wasn't chased by the monkeys, they were just doing their thing. It's like the monkeys attack people, but these ones, like on the day they didn't attack me. It's just I'm very scared and I'm very um, aware. Uh, observant, yeah. Oh, see, I couldn't even remember observant. I was, re I'm very scared, so I like to be very observant of like when it's going to happen. I don't want to be taken unawares. Um, me, animal, to come and scratch my skin or something. No, ah, clicks, clicks. So yeah, uh, <laughs> in Gibraltar. <laughs> but the monkeys attacked you, don't think they? One attacked you though. It stole the bag, yeah, we thought there was food in it. So, on the day we went to the Monkey Rock, what happened was, we packed, we packed our food, I had a backpack, and if I had watched videos of these monkeys attacking people, <laughs> heaven knows I would have not had that backpack. I would have given it to my husband. <laughs> hmm? You Actually, if I had watched the videos of monkeys attacking people, I wouldn't have gone at all, and he's right to say that. But yeah. So, so I had my food in my backpack. I had this backpack in front of me because that's how I like to carry my backpacks normally. So I had my backpack in front of me. And then we had all our lunch in the backpack that we were going to eat at some point. And he had another bag. In the bag that he had, there was nothing in it. It was just my... I had a jacket because I thought it might get cold. It didn't get cold. I don't know why I thought so. But the weather up there is quite warm. So I had a jacket in it and I had my... I, I first wore a sandal. But I took, because I knew that it was going to be a long walk around the rock, I took um, flip-flops. So I had my flip, I had taken off my, my sandals and put my flip-flops on. So I had my flip, my sandals in the bag that he was carrying. But because of the way he was holding the bag, like the monkeys are used to people coming to, I can hear you. I can hear what you're watching. So, because the monkeys are used to people having food in bags, 
if they see you with a bag, especially if the bag is behind you, or by the way, the, the bag being behind you, I didn't know this until I came back from Gibraltar. I I only know, I only know, <laughs> I only found out by watching videos of these monkeys, like seeing them attacking them. Like he showed me videos of them like jumping on people's bags and dragging their bags from the back. But I had my backpack in front, which is good. But he had the bag that he was carrying, you know, like carrier bags that you don't carry on, on your body, you just hold them down. We just walked into this monkey rock. And <laughs> the first set of monkeys we saw, one was just coming around to me. And me, in my mind, I was like, oh my god, no. In fact, I was not even saying it in my mind. I started saying it out, wasn't I? When the monkey was coming to me, I was there saying, no, 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 no. <laughs> And the monkey jumped on his back <laughs> and I ran away. I just moved to the end of the and I was shouting. <laughs> and, I, and he was dragging the bag with the monkey. <laughs> he was dragging the bag with the monkey and the monkey, I'm sorry, I, I have a very ugly laugh and I've laughed the whole of this video. I wonder what you're saying. So he was dragging the bag with the monkey. He was like pulling the bag from the monkey. The monkey was pulling the bag from him. And I was shouting, give it to him. Give it to him. Shouting from the other side. Give it to him. Give it to him. So the, the monkey eventually tore the bag. And of course saw that there was nothing inside. Like there was no food. There was nothing of interest for it. And you know, he left it. But yeah. And then, you know, we walked around the rock. We walked to the very top of that rock. To the very very peak of the rock i mean on the day i had twenty three thousand steps on my step counter so that's how much we walk so we and you know i don't know i'm just telling you how <laughs> how much of a walk it was by the time we got to one part of the rock we weren't, we weren't seeing any monkeys we hadn't seen any monkeys for a good while so we thought okay this might be the right time to eat we should sit here and have our lunch shouldn't we we sat down there, we were having our lunch casually, we were eating, eating, just, you know, just doing our things little by little. And then a woman just shouted, look out! <laughs> but we had finished eating by this time, even I had finished, I was just digesting my food with a can of Pepsi nicely. So it was just like the, um, the back of the banana, the um, packet of crisps, the empty pack of crisps that was on the floor we were going to throw away in the bin when we got up. And me, I was having my, my Pepsi. And a woman just shouted from the other side, Look out! And I just thought there was a big... Oh my god. No, 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 no. That monkey... That monkey was very scary, wasn't it? But it was big! Why are you laughing? It was a big male monkey coming to drag food from me. What? I threw my, my coke. <laughs> I threw my coke at the thing. And I ran away. is very annoying he does not run he just stays there it's like why are you not running this is scary so he just quietly waited for the monkey to finish the monkey was licking all my fanta no my pepsi from the floor and like rummaging through the empty crisp pack and taking the ba banana back that it found there but yeah he just casually waited for the monkey to finish rummaging and then he picked all the rubbish so that you know he disposes them quietly in the bin so, there's nothing else. There's no other story of me being chased by animals or I don't remember anyone else. But yeah, but having said that, I think it's time for me to announce that on the topic of animals, I've put myself in a tight situation. I'm about to get an animal that I don't like in this house and my husband likes it. But... I've already made, I've already promised, and my word is my bond, so I'm going to let it happen. I mean, for the last four years, he's been trying to convince me about this animal, and finally, it's happening. You're happy, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, it's finally happening. So if you, if you'd like to see what, our first furry baby, I might love it. I mean, as I said, we didn't have, um... I, I was scared of dogs, so I didn't even like dogs until we had our family dog, so, you know, 
I I might fall in love with it. I like animals. I'm just scared of them. It's not that I hate animals. Even cats. I'm very, very sure if I owned a cat, I'll love it. It's just, I'm, even now with, with people and their dogs, I'm always like, please hold your dog. I don't know. I don't know how temperamental the dog is. I mean, last year, in here in the UK, I don't even know, I think it's even in our city, that a 10-year-old boy got mauled by a dog. And he died. He died. So yeah, I like animals, but only if they are mine. If they are someone else's, I'm not sure how. There are bad dog owners or bad animal owners. People don't train animals. People can train children well, need, let alone animals. So I, I don't know how people are training their dogs. I don't know how people handle their animals. And uh, I'm not going to be the experiment, okay? So yeah. So that's the end of the story. Story time. And that's the end of the video. So... Did you like my stories let me know by giving me a thumbs up <laughs> and if you have any comments you know when you've been chased by animals or if you found my story funny just let me know in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you when i see you bye